Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to unbox some new Cricut products, the Cricut Bright 360 lamps. Wait, lamps? Cricut has lamps? <laughs> so if this was your first reaction to, you are not alone. The first time I heard about these lamps, I was like, what? But what does it do? Why would I need Cricut to make me a lamp? Yeah, I get it. Lighting is super important for pretty much all crafting projects, especially task lighting. I know I can't do things properly without good light. And that goes for everything from paper crafting and weeding, especially weeding, to sewing and 3D modeling and really all the things that I do. So let's take a closer look at the Cricut Bright 360 lamps and see what makes them different from other lamps and help you decide if this is something that you need or not. So here I have the two models of the Cricut Bright 360 lamp, the table lamp and the floor lamp. Thank you so much to Cricut for providing these lamps to me in advance so I could review them for you. Do note, however, that all opinions in this video are entirely my own, and I am not sponsored or paid by Cricut to review them. I have not even opened these boxes or used these lamps yet. We are going to do it together, and that means you'll be getting my 100% honest opinion on how they work. I will be entirely upfront with you and say that I am a little skeptical that I need a special Cricut branded lamp, but I haven't looked at them yet, so the jury is still out. We'll find out together. Now, before we even open these up, the boxes tell us that they are the ultimate LED lamp that lets us see more and do more. Okay, I am all for that. And then on the back, the lamps are described as being able to pivot, rotate, and glide with ease. And we can position the light exactly where we need it with a gentle push of the hand to illuminate up to four square feet of our workspace, okay? And then on the side of the box, it says that the lamps have sleek, elegant sliders that make it easy to adjust light control and brightness. Ah, uh, yes, brightness. I noticed that the table lamp adjusts up to 1500 lux and the floor lamp adjusts up to 3000 lux. Lux is a measurement of a luminance or how intense or bright the light is that falls on a particular surface area. Lux is different than say lumens, which is a measurement of the total amount of light being emitted by a source in all directions. So when it comes to task lighting, Lux is a better measurement of how well it will illuminate what we're doing. So it's got awesome Lux. <laughs> The box also mentions that it offers full color temperature adjustment from warm white to cool white, which I love, and that it casts an ideal natural light. I also see here that it uses long lasting LEDs, so awesome. And at the bottom here, it says that the Bright 360 lamps give us a rich, accurate color with an exceptionally high CRI rating of 95. CRI stands for Color Rendering Index, and it is an assessment of how the color appears compared to natural sunlight. And I don't know about you, but that's a lot of numbers and stuff <laughs> that maybe don't make sense. Honestly, I tend to do better with comparisons. So what I have done is I have bought a bunch of task lights that I use successfully at home, as well as some task lights that were highly recommended by others. And after I unbox and set up these two lights, we're gonna compare the Cricut Bright 360 lamps to a bunch of other lamps to see how they stack up. I'll actually show you how they illuminate our projects. All right, so let's unbox these lamps and get them set up. And I'm gonna start with the table lamp first. There we go. So you can see inside the box here and it's really nicely packaged. So in the box, we have the table lamp in two parts. This is the head and under here is the base. There's also uh, probably warranty information in here and the power adapter and the power cord. And let's assemble this and see how it goes together. Our quick start guide tells us how to put it together. So we need to insert the lamp stem into the lamp base. 
thankfully we don't need any tools to do this. So we're going to put this together and right on the front it says, push stem firmly onto base until it clicks. All right, let's listen for the click. Make sure you hear them click so you know they're insecure. And then once they're put together, they don't come apart, which I think is good because I don't want wobbly lights. Now to turn on the Cricut Bright 360 lamp, we connect one end of the power adapter to the port near the bottom of the lamp stem and the other end into a wall outlet or a power strip like I have here. On the front of the light here, there is a piece of plastic. So we can remove that and it's just there to protect it. So we can take that plastic right off, just like that. There we go. And then once you've got it all put together, you push the lower slider up to power on the light. Isn't that cool? The top slider controls the temperature of the light. So we have white light up here and warmer light down here. So it can move all of the ways. I love this. It's so it's called 360 and it swivels all the way around like this. Here we go. And it comes, this is as high as it comes up here and it comes all the way. Well, that would be it's actually pretty awesome. So, and then this tilts here like this too. So you can really get this into exactly the right spot that you need it. And it's very easy to move. I think we're supposed to use the head here to move it. Not, this isn't like a handle. This is the cantilever, right? So we use this to move it around like this. That's really easy. I will do like that. It does illuminate really nicely. I like that. Turn it down and turn it up. I like the different temperature. Okay. This is a table lamp. Let's put the floor lamp together as well. All right, so the floor lamp comes in three parts. The head, which is all of this here. This is the head here. And then the stem, which is this part, and the base, which is right over here. So let's take everything out. So just like with the floor lamp, we need to put it together, but it's super easy. But as always, let's check the instructions that came with our Cricut product. Always check your instructions. So first, insert the contacts until you hear a audible click. So we're clicking both the lamp head and the stem. So there should be two clicks, two, two things to insert. Let's begin by putting the head and a stem together. So we've got these two arrows here. So we're just gonna slide them together until we hear them click. There we go, clicked. So make sure you hear that click. And now we're gonna put it into the base, same thing. We're gonna wanna hear that click. There we go, clicked. There's a floor lamp all assembled. It's really quite tall, it's a floor lamp after all, that makes sense. So I'm gonna plug it in and then I'll turn it on so we can compare the two. So we plug it in right down here at the bottom. So this little plug goes into here. And then we plug our, our two prong into a wall outlet or surge suppressor or power strip. And to turn them on, you use the same sliders. So the bottom one adjusts the light and the top one adjusts the temperature from warm light all the way up to cool light. So this is cool light and this is warm light. All right, so let's uh, move the boxes out of the way so we have lots of room to experiment with how they move. The lamp head diameter on both of these are the same size at a whopping nine and a half inches across. This is really unusual. The only lights that I know that have such a large LED surface are my set lights here in the studio, which are really powerful and very pricey so that you can see me on video because lighting is important. Now the floor lamp's height is adjustable from 46 to 56 inches, which is pretty cool. The table lamp 
has an adjustment from 16 to 27 inches. And the power cord on both lights is just about six feet long or 180 centimeters long. Both lamps do really move, pivot really smoothly. This is a super nice feature. Uh, they go like this, they tilt up like this, and uh, they can go 360 degrees, just like the name says right around here like this. They both do this, 360 degrees. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I can't say I've ever seen such smooth movement before or like just so they glide really easily and both lamps feel very stable. The bases are really hefty and they don't feel like they're gonna tip over or anything. And I checked <laughs> to see how much they weighed. The floor lamp base is 11 pounds and the table lamp base is five and a half pounds. And both bases are non-slip and non-scratch. All right, so let's turn both of the lamps on. And this is at the warm light. Let's turn them on to the, and you can see the difference between these two right here, right? And neither one gets hot because they're using LED lights, which don't generate infrared heat the same way that traditional lights do. You can touch them both. There's, the surfaces are all cool to the touch, which I love about LED lights, okay? All right, so all of this is great. It's cool that they move. They look really slick for sure, but ultimately what matters is how well they illuminate our workspaces and our tasks, right? So I think it's time to put these lights to the test and see how things actually look underneath them. I have the table lamp sitting on my desk here at my studio. I have a project that I'm working on for Valentine's Day. This is my love layer design. Now in the room right now, I have two windows open, bringing in cold, cool light from because the middle of winter. And I also have the room lights on. As you can see, the lighting is not great. It's pretty dim. It's not like I'm in the dark, but so many of us do tend to work and it's, it's hard to see things, let's be honest. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Cricut lamp and see how it does. And I have it on warm light right now, so let's bring it all the way up. There we go, you can see what a difference that makes. Huge difference. Now let's change the temperature from warm up to about mid-range and then all the way up to cool light. See the difference? Do you see how the colors change as I move through the spectrum? So here we are at warm again. That red looks pretty orange now, but when we move it all the way up to cool light, you can see how that red changes to really, this is more accurate between what I see with my eyes and what I see on the screen. So, but you can decide what you wanna work with. I'll put it right in the middle for a nice mid-tone right here. All right, so this looks wonderful. Um, I love the colors are really rich. They're very, they look very true from what I can see on my camera and what I can see with my eyes. I love that. Um, something else I'm noticing are shadows. So shadows are a big deal. Harsh shadows can be difficult on your eyes. So let's take a look at what the shadows look like. So here's my weeding tool. And I want you to note the shadow that it casts. So you can see here, as I'm really close, there's the shadow on the table, but just a couple inches away, it's very diffused. This is a really good thing as a person who deals with um, projects and lighting projects often. You want diffuse light as much as possible. It's easier on your eyes. It looks better, it feels better, and, and <laughs> you'll have less eye strain. Personally, um, that's what I find. Uh, the harsh shadows give me eye strain. Everyone is a little different, of course, but this has a great diffuse light source. So if I put my hand over it, you can see how the light has been diffused. We don't have lots of shadows. We have a shadow, of course, it's a very bright light, but we don't have really harsh shadows. So that's a really nice bonus to having this really big head on the Cricut Bright 360 lamp, right? That's really quite large. Uh, again, I haven't seen a light that is this big on anything other than my professional studio, like LED lights, right? All right, so something else that I love, I just demonstrated 
I love how it just it just moves so easily, right? I can swivel it out of the way, move it, right, into a different position. And if I really need to see something better, like I can get that light right down, right down into it. So um, and now I can see all of the everything, all this depth in here. It's wonderful. I love this. I love this design too. It's so pretty. So uh, this is really useful. Um, I love that I can see myself really just bringing my light to my project when I need to use it and then, you know, getting it out of the way as I'm doing something else. And if I need that general illumination again, I can just lift it up and there we go. We're back to that. So that's really nice. So if you think the Cricut lamp is right for you and it will help you see more and do more, you can see where to buy it at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut lamps. The prices in the US at the time that I'm making this video are $1.99 for the table lamp and $2.49 for the floor lamp and those are in US dollars. My discount code is also at the same link. Now let's compare the Cricut Bright 360 lamps, which I have on either end here, to lamps um, that are already proven and popular. I have here with me an Ot Light Flex Arm Craft Light a Daylight Company Art and Craft Table Lamp, an Adelon LED Floor Lamp, and a Neatfy LED Task Lamp. These are all highly recommended and rated well on Amazon. These are the best of the best as far as I know about. These lamps come in a lot of different configurations. I have just a selection here, and they range in price from about $80 to $239, that's US dollars. So they're a bit less than Cricut lamps at their retail price. So let's take these over to my, uh, my project and see how they compare to the Cricut lamp. All right, let's start with the Daylight Company Daylight Duo LED Art and Craft Table Lamp. It has uh, LED bars that look like this. You can tilt them, they, and the gooseneck lamp tilts up and down like this. This is about all it does. Um, and then to turn it on, and so I want you to see how it looks, you have to press the ends um, for each bar that you want. So then it goes up to three on each end like this. Now, even at its maximum illumination, it doesn't look as illuminated to me as the Cricut lamp does. Next comparison is to an Otlight 18 watt flex arm table lamp. So it's got this gooseneck here. So it can come up and it can come down and its light source looks a lot different. And I'm going to flip this over so you can see it. It is not LED, it's something else. Uh, it is 18 watts of something that's not LED. <laughs> All right, so anyways, let's take a look and see how it works. So its power button is right in the back, right here. All right, there we go. So does it have any other adjustments? It does not. So it does not have any, temper or any temperature control or brightness control. It, it appears to have just this one control. I don't see any other controls on it. Um, it's not bad. The light looks pretty similar to me. Let's compare. So this is the Ot light and this is the Cricut light. The color looks really good. I would say they're comparable. Um, I like the color with the Ot light and the Cricut lamp. Um, what I don't like is that I can't control the brightness with the Ot lamp. Also, the shadows aren't as diffused. They're a bit harsher. It's not too bad, but you can see, you can definitely make out that weeding tool a lot more with the Ot lamp. Um, it does adjust, right? So you can bring it close to your project like this. It does work that way, but it doesn't have the same like smooth adjustments that the Cricut does. And it doesn't have this nice big wide area either. So when I have it over here like this, I can definitely tell my light is really just coming from this bottom source. You can see how harsh those shadows are on this light. And it has a lot to do with just how big this head here is. Also, its light is not diffused as well. It's just the nature of its 
nature of its um, bulbs, right? So the at light does give a really good color and I think it illuminates well, but without having the ability to adjust it and it's harsh shadows, I can't say I'm a huge fan of it. I mostly just like the color. The color looks, tr the color looks true with the at lamp. All right, next lamp. The next lamp is the Adlon LED floor lamp with four brightness levels and three temperature controls. So I'm gonna to try to show this to you. It's a little bit awkward, but it's got a fairly big um, LED light head, right? It's not as big as the Cricut's, but it's pretty big. Um, and But it, all it has for adjustment is this, it really only goes like this. It's got a gooseneck lamp on it, gooseneck on it, and that's about it. All right, so let's see how the color looks. Well, that's very yellow. <laughs> let's just go ahead and turn up the brightness right now. All right, and then now let's change the, the temperature because this is very warm. And there we go. So it's, its temperature is a lot more drastic. So this is the cool light color, and this is the warm, and this is the, no, that's the, that's the warmest one. That's the in-between one, and this is the super cool one. Do you see how blue this looks here? This is super blue, um, whereas this is really yellow. So it's got a wider range, but you can't go in between there. So honestly, probably most of the time you'd end up working at this one because the other ones are a little bit, they're really harsh, at least from my perspective. Now, the color looks a little bit off too. This looks really warm, even though this is the mid-range. Let's go to the coolest temperature, which is right here. All right, so this cool temperature here is so cool that it's making the red look not vibrant. So it's like toning down the red a lot. Um, so, eh, it's not, I don't know. I don't really like its temperature settings at all. I don't like that I can't perfectly control them. This is probably the best one, but it looks really blue. But you know, whatever we do, we work with what we got. Okay. Now, as far as shadows go, it's a little bit better with its shadows because it has that big LED um, lamp. So it looks a little bit better. It's not as good as the Cricut lamp, but it's, it's not bad. All right. So now we have just one lamp to go. All right, our last light is the Neatfy desk lamp, which looks like this. Uh, Greg let me borrow this one. He uses this when he does his modeling. Uh, and it's got power button right up here at the top. Now it just has the traditional arm on it. So this is so you can move it back and forth like this. It does swivel and you can turn this. It's not smooth or anything, but you know, it's okay. It does, it does this movement back and forth like this, all right? Now, um, let me turn on the light so that you can see. And again, its, temp its settings are right up here and you have to keep pressing it to get a different brightness levels. It does not have any temperature controls. I have to get it to stay in place, there we go. All right, so let's first do its first brightness. All right, so the first brightness is really quite bright. That might be the, the brightest, and it was. That was the brightest. All right, so the color looks pretty good. I like the color on this. I think it looks realistic. It's not making the uh, red look really flat. It's pretty good. It does not have any ability to change the temperature, uh, so we have that issue, but we can you know, move it closer to our project if we have to. Now. It's got this like really wide angle uh, here. So let's see how it does with shadows. Really wide head, right? All right, so let's take a look at our weeding tool. So it does, it does pretty well actually on it. And here is, um, it actually does an excellent job with shadows. But there's something about the light quality. So because you can't change the temperature, it definitely looks different. It's like harsher. It's like good here, but up here, look how dim it is, 
right? So it seems like it's very directed. Like it's really great in a very sm a much smaller area, I'd say. Like this looks really good. My hand looks great there. Up here, not so much. Whereas, let's switch this off completely. All right, and here's the Cricut lamp. Let's move this out of the way so it's no shadows. And here's my hand here, and here's my hand here. I'm seeing a much more consistent um, lumination. So it's illuminating a larger area. That's the, the big difference that I'm seeing with the Cricut lamp. I mean, I have like a pool of light here on my desk, whereas when I use the other lights, I get more like spotlights, right? They're, they seem like the areas are smaller or with like the neat Fi, which has this unusual shape here, bring this in, I get like this sort of band where at the top and at the top, like if it's right here, I, it gets all really dark and shadowy, right? Um, but the Cricut lamp is not doing that, which is nice. All right, so I really, really, really like the color range on the Cricut lamps. You can ingest it from a warm light starting around 2,900 Kelvins all the way up to a cool light around 5,200 Kelvins. Kelvin is a measurement to describe the color temperature of the light. Warm is like a yellow white light and cool is a light like a blue white light. I personally think it's best to craft in a cool bright light as that's where I find the colors look the truest. So the Ot Light Flex Arm Craft Light offers natural daylight at 5,000 Kelvin. It does not have the ability to adjust its color temperature or its brightness, however. It has 930 lumens. I don't know what that is in Lux. Seems comparable. Its height adjusts from 19 and a half to 13, 27 inches. So it's a little less, um, it only flexes in one direction, right? Okay. The Daylight Company table lamp has a double headed, double head like this and a flexible arm, but it's not smooth or elegant or anything like that. It has a touch switch at the end, which I kept touching. It goes up to 20, 2,090 lux. You can't change the color temperature. You can change the brightness a bit. However, I found this one really hard to use. The Adlon LED floor lamp has four brightness levels and three color temperatures. It has a gooseneck that adjusts somewhat, but not a lot. This is it. This is a 6,000 Kelvin lamp. And the Neatfy Task Lamp, which is my, of besides the Cricut lamps, this is probably my favorite. It has the ability to adjust in a bunch of positions, but there's no color temperature adjustment. This is about 6,000 to 7,000 Kelvins only. That's my estimate. So what's the verdict on the Cricut lamp? All right, this is my honest opinion because I see both pros and cons here. First, let's talk about what I don't like so much. First, I don't like that the table lamp version doesn't have any kind of organizer at the base because my table space is precious and 11 inches is a lot of real estate to just give up for my light. At home, I don't even allow space on my table for a lamp. I mount my light overhead to keep it off my table. I have one up here, in fact. So to use the table lamp, I'll have to make some space. The other thing that I'm not crazy about, I'll be so honest here, it's the price. It is the most expensive of all the lamps that I looked at. Now, you do get what you pay for, right? But the question is, is it worth the extra price? So let's talk about what I do like then. I love how evenly it illuminates with less shadows. It is so much easier on my eyes without all of those harsh shadows everywhere. I love how it pivots and moves so smoothly. But I think what I love the most about it is how I can position it exactly where I want it to be, adjust its color, temperature, and brightness based on what I'm doing. I love having all of those options. I love options. So it does do a lot more than the other lamps that I looked at, and it illuminates my projects way better than my other light sources do. Now, your big question might be, should you get the table lamp or the floor lamp? I get it. So the best way to choose is by thinking about where the where your lamp is gonna live, right? So a table lamp might suit your needs if you have the space on your desk or your table for it. 
If you're like me and you don't, then the floor lamp might be a better choice. They, these lamps have such a great reach. Um, so you can really, you have a lot of flexibility. Just keep in mind that you need room away from the wall to accommodate the lamp arm, which can take up to 39 inches of space at its longest reach, right? So if I bring it all the way around, we're gonna need some extra space for that, right? Um, but I'm gonna use the floor lamp, I think, because it's not gonna take up space on my work surface. If you want more information, I have links and details on the Cricut Bright 360 lamps over on my blog at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut lamps, including high resolution photos taken of all of my tests during the comparison of the lamps. And I answer more questions there as well, such as will these lamps come in any other color other than this sort of ice white blue? Can you use these outside of the US and Canada? How long the bulbs last? Can you decorate your lamp and where you can buy it? So come visit and get your answers or leave your question below this video or ask over in my Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. I can't stop playing with them. <laughs> and that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Like little flying saucers. <laughs>